Hey guys, um, part two, as promised, stores. Uh, I shouldn't even have to draw these things in anymore. You guys should be up to speed. Uh, but I, I definitely want to point out a few of these. Uh, yeah, you can definitely notice the hexagram right there and the golden ratio. And they've even started on the second hexagram in the center for you. And all that can be seen without me doing anything, um, if you're actually looking. Uh, if you don't just see the three triangles there that are, that are transparent uh, laid over top of each other, you can see that they're uh, pretty intelligent when it comes to uh, doing these symbols. They have no problems with, I don't know, practically making them invisible unless you stare at it. Um, here's where it's gonna get crazy and even I'll admit that it's crazy. Uh, some of the things that I believe are crazy but nothing I believe is set in stone. Constantly uh, tweaking my beliefs to ultimately what I find to be true. And if I find something to be true I try to debunk it. If I think something's false I'll try to prove it. That's the only way you're gonna get to the truth uh, so take this with a grain of salt you know believe you know nothing you hear and only half of what you see uh, the feeding of 5,000 and the representation of the original sin uh, is a Harris Teeter logo which is now owned by Kroger uh, Kroger if you flip this upside down and backwards, the section that they're telling you to anyways, you end up with the word cloter, which translates to planets or globes in uh, Danish. And of course you get your three sixes and teeter, along with all those symbols from the Bible, along with Kroger. And you end up getting into something that I've believed for a while now, but I haven't really said anything about it because I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. So if I think it's crazy, I know you're going to think it's crazy. Um, but the apple is actually representing the Earth's magnetic field. Uh, this is what I believe, and uh, you don't have to believe it. And what I believe this O is showing us is the ascension and descension process, which is within this gravitational field. Um, I know you've heard uh, the story in the Bible where the angels fell from heaven or were cast out of heaven. So if you can be cast down, you should be able to be... Uh, if, if you can descend, then you should be able to ascend. So if you end up falling uh, from whatever... Uh, test you were put through um, then you can go to a lesser realm something lesser than what we have now um, and you can end up going through an ascension and descension process until you get it until you pass all your tests um, and this is my personal belief I know I get into these things and people are just like what in the world dislikes and people leave but um, anyways what I see is is that we are on number five. That's my personal belief that we are at at number five. And I believe the tree of life is simply an ascension process. Everybody starts from here down at the bottom. And we move our way up through the test. Depending on if we succeed or if we fail. Um, and uh, I, think, I think that's why they're trying to pull us towards the six. Uh, you can even get two sixes out of this if you were to just flip it upside down and backwards like they tell you to. Um, but this is why I think the six is so prevalent. And to, to make my point, karma. Let's say you start off here as a new soul and you come up here and you're a male who rapes women. Well, I believe that you'll be either going over here or over here and your next life will be about uh, you'll be a woman and you will be raped you will go through the same thing that you put people through uh, the karma the yin and the yang uh, the infinite uh, good and the evil 
until you've learned your lesson because uh, from here you might not learn your lesson you might just uh, you might just go around killing men uh, as a result of this and this has happened many of times of uh, people who pose as prostitutes and kill Johns uh, so then you end up committing murder which brings you further down in the chain I'm not quite sure how this works I just know that we're on number five which is right here and they're trying to pull us towards six but um, yeah the the ascension process is basically it can be a straight line or we could go through many paths I believe we can go up and down up and down we can learn a lesson and then lose on the next one um, so the point is is to take everything that you learn in this life as a lesson and I believe we forget we forgot where we came from because of the thimerosal and the fluoride and whatever else chemical lobotomies they've given us uh, so we have to basically relearn to find out who we are and why we go through what we go through uh, that's my personal belief uh, you believe what you want but I believe that there is perfect balance in everything so if we're going through a rough time in our life just imagine what you did in your last life and the number five is uh, signified here on the Masonic magic square and you can do research on that basically the G is in representation of the five and if uh, if you add anything in any direction it'll give you 15 that's why I, that's the reason why I say we're on number five not just the tree of life telling us TJ Maxx you have the double cross and the double X which is very obvious and if you think that I'm just insane with this one, the parent company of TJ Maxx is Zayri. I shouldn't have to do anything. You guys should uh, definitely see this for yourself by now. TJ Maxx was founded by Zayri. Um, and, uh, you can find that in Wikipedia. Parent company of TJ Maxx. So yeah Safeway is the six the six and the six upside down or the nine the six being female and the nine being the male the 69 and the yin and the yang and the separation and I'm going to get into this even further of why they say men are from Mars and women are from Venus because I didn't really clarify that in the last video but in order to do that I'm going to have to cover all the planets so we're going to have to do that in a separate video um, Starbucks coffee uh, you could see very clearly here that this woman slash fish mermaid is uh, holding her twin fish legs open open for business if you will the uh, Starbucks itself or bucks for the star uh, the original logo was uh, pretty blatant with it um, but then all you have to do is turn it upside down and it appears to be a Baphomet devouring Christ I uh, that's what I see anyways target uh, of course target is dealing with the Sun and the Sun God's eye Ra and we know that that's dealing with the God's eye because they told you right to your face uh, dog backwards is God and they have this right over the eye see spot and save Walgreens uh, the uh, Vesica Pisces triple uh, six and the serpent and they love to do serpents and six six sixes uh, the American Medical Association, the Don't Tread on Me flag, which this is not the original. The original looks like this. They just they take your movements and they take your symbols, and they use them for their own purposes. Of course, Walmart, uh, the pentagram became the hexagram, and I was in uh, Walmart with a friend, and uh, I kind of looked over at this and looked over at him and. Uh, he, he started to pull out his phone and he took the picture uh, 
He's uh, somebody who makes fun of me for this stuff whenever I point it out, but it's funny that he would pull out his phone and take the picture. This is at the uh, checkout counter where they have the bags and stuff, and it says, Thanks Six, right in front of your face. Um, and there you have the uh, golden ratio yet again on the hexagram. So I think that's all I'm going to do for uh, box, door, uh, box doors in general, or stores in general. I've got more videos to do. I've got, uh, got, uh, I've got more to explain now uh, about the tree of life and the uh, different planets. So I just put more on my plate. And the more, the more answers I find, the more questions I find. It's, uh, it's like for every, for every answer I find, I end up with a hundred more questions. So it's a learning process, and I'm going to go through it. Thanks for listening, guys.